Hello students, today let us see a result in lattices and Boolean algebra. This is the result prove that every chain is a distributive lattice. So first of all, let me take a chain. What is a chain? If we take any two elements, they are comparable. A and B, if we take, either A is related to B or B must be related to A. So A less than or equal to B or B less than or equal to A. So if we draw the assay diagram, uh, each level there will be only one element. So it looks like a chain. So I take three elements A, B, C in L. So any two elements, if we take, they are comparable. So any one of these six cases are possible. A is less than or equal to B, B is less than or equal to C. Or A is less than or equal to C, C is less than or equal to B. B is less than or equal to A or A less than, uh, and A less than or equal to C. Or B less than or equal to C and C less than or equal to A. C is less than or equal to A and A less than or equal to B. Or C less than or equal to B and B less than or equal to A. Any one of these six cases can hold. And don't think that they are in consecutive elements. Actually, there may be some elements between these A and B as well as B and C. But I take only those three elements which are which we are discussing. So it looks like the elements are in uh, consecutive, but it is not the case. Now let us verify the distributive lattice for all the six possible cases. Distributive properties for all the uh, six cases. So first, let us take the first case. A less than or equal to B, B less than or equal to C. So in lattices, we have seen <coughs> that if two elements are comparable, then A star B is smaller among them. A plus B is larger among them. The very first result that is what we have seen. So A star B plus C. So this is the diagram. A is the smaller, B is the next smaller, and C is the larger. Uh, largest element. Now B plus C if we take plus is the larger among them since the all the elements are comparable we can say like this the larger among them. So larger among them is C so A star C is taken. Now star is the smaller among them A star C A is the smaller element so A. Now the right hand side of this distributive law must be A star B plus A star C so A star B star is the smaller among them. So A star B is A plus A star C smaller among them. Star is the smaller among them. A A star C is A. A plus A by item button law it is A. Similarly the other distributive law if you take A plus B star C. Star is the smaller among the two elements. So smaller among B and C is B. A plus B plus C is the larger among these two elements. So A plus B, A, uh, B is the larger among them. And the right hand side of this distributive law is A plus B star A plus C. Plus C is the larger among these two B. And plus C is larger among these two C. Star is the smaller among these two B. So we verified the left side and right side of each distributive law are equal. So distributive law hold for the first case. Similarly, if you take the second case, A less than or equal to C less than or equal to B. This is the SI diagram. A is less than or equal to C. C is less than or equal to B. So A is smaller. C is next smaller. B is the largest one. So A star B plus C if you take, plus is the larger among these two. So B is the larger. Star A, now A, we are getting A star B. Star is the smaller among these two. So A is the smaller. And similarly, the right side of this distributive law is A star B plus A star C. Star is the smaller among these two A. A star C, star is the smaller among these two A. A plus A, item button law A. So, and the other distributive law, A plus B star C. Star is the smaller among these two, C. Plus C is, uh, we get A plus C. Plus C is the larger among these two, C. A plus B star A plus C, we have to see. A plus B, if we take, uh, plus C is the larger among these two, B. A plus C, C uh, plus C is the larger among these two, C. B star C, star is the smaller among these two, C. 
So if you look at the left side and right side of these distributed loss, they are equal. So distributed loss are verified for the second case also. Similarly, we can check the distributed loss by drawing the asset diagram and the star is the smaller among the two elements plus is the larger among the two elements. We can verify left side and right side of each distributed loss for all the remaining cases and we shall conclude chain is a distributive lattice. So with this, this problem is over and let us see another problem in the next video. Thank you.